welcome back to a new episode of Homerazzi. We are back. It's been a while, and it's now November. November and Halloween just happened. No, no, no November. Uh, so Nick's growing a mustache. Aren't no, you? I'm not. I can't grow facial hair to save my life. I think you did a couple of years ago. I did you a did couple years ago. And, you, a and then last year, did you? yes, yes, yes. And then last year, I swore that I was going to grow a mustache and have people like donate money in order for me to shave it off because <laughs> it's so bad. It's terrible. I don't have a mustache. You have this is makeup. Is it makeup? It is. It comes off the slats. <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> so what did you dress up uh, for Halloween? Now? For Halloween, I was uh, I was Jason, but I gated up. I had a glitter mask <laughs> yeah, yeah. and a glitter knife. I was Gason. Oh, good one. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Yeah, no, it's kind of it. like it. And you? Um, Donovan and I did zombie lumberjacks. And you had an axe in your back. I did. And I had I, an axe in my back. Donovan put an axe in my back. No, he stabber. actually tagged me in an Instagram photo <laughs> and said that Patrick is a backstabber or something. I wasn't even it's with true. him, but anyway. It's true. I don't remember most of it, except I remember we braided our hair at the end of the night. We had man side braids. Oh. Very Lauren Conrad. So you went from style. mustache to side braids. Yeah. And uh, Adam and I actually dressed up as three, three blind, blind mice. mice with Tyrell. That's right. Yeah. That was cute. Yeah. It was cute. It was, cute. It was, really it was a cute. simple costume, and Patrick found all the pieces together. Oh. Well, speaking of people in new outfits, uh, Joe Simpson oh my God. is out of... Oh, you even jump on it. Papa Joe Simpson. I'm so excited about this. Um, Papa Joe Simpson is Jessica Simpson's father, and apparently he's gay. Yeah, but hasn't he been gay for a while? Well, I don't really well, know. Well, probably, yeah. probably. That's no, how it yes, works. But they ju him and his wife just got a divorce, and now there's all these stories coming out that he's actually... Uh, Homosexual. Oh, he's sure dressing like one. I kind of think he's attractive. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a he's couple terrible. okay things. There's something yeah. about Tell him. Me. There's looks, something about him. He looks like that a football like, coach or something. Yeah. No, yeah. he looks like an old queen all of a sudden. Well, he looks like that he's to not, too. Yeah, but there's like, there, That's there was why you one. Like him. No. There was one he was wearing like a fedora, and he was walking. I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. <laughs> no? Fedora no, didn't do it for I didn't get it. No. What we need to talk about are the heinous kids that he's hooking up with. Have you seen the pictures of no, the people? Just the so oh, there's some there's actor. No, there's a prostitute that, uh, I can't remember his name, he's been supposed to do anything. Long hair, blonde, gross. And then it's this actor, model, slash, blah, 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 singer named Bryce something or other who looks horrendous. And I think we can throw to a picture of oh, him yeah, if we can find it. Right now, actually. <laughs> Should we look? Yeah. <laughs> no. Joke. He's gross. And he's like eight pounds, and, a, and he looks like he's dark circles, and he's like and an 18 year old. It's he's disgusting. He's new, though. He's the, Papa Joe is new blood now, so he's just discovering his yeah. Anyway, this is all alleged, right? Oh, we, oh, yeah. It's oh, alleged. It's alleged. <laughs> yeah. Alleged. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But do, do you remember a couple years ago when, when he was talking about Jessica Simpson's boobs? Yes, 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 yes. Now he was talking so, about them yeah. like and a now it's not so creepy. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? You're right. It makes yeah. sense now. But the link, thing that I love is when you search for this, every story is about how much Jessica Simpson is eating as a result of it. At like half of the stories <laughs> I saw serious? were Jessica Simpson explodes <laughs> over her father's recent gains. And it's about her losing like the Weight Watchers, whatever. Like the she's deal. got all these millions coming in and the deal, she's gonna lose it because her diet's really oh, being tested in the heart of this. It's hilarious. But there was a picture of her from Halloween and she looked really thin. Well, it's gone down. What now. was she? She was, I don't know. Jessica Simpson? Something. Yeah. Ashley Simpson's with a corset. coming back with a new single. With a corset, things. tightening it up and there hiding it and everything. Yeah. No, apparently she's blown up as a result of this, I so. Know. I hope he's gay. I really do. I'm sure he will be. I think it'd be great. <laughs> I always think it's so sad when it takes people that long to come out of the closet. I mean, come on, he lives in, what, L.A.? Mm. Give me no, a break. They no, they don't live in L.A. In they live in some I'm sure they have a house in L.A. Yeah. Come on, he's probably been to LA so many times and been exposed to gay culture. I don't know why it would take him yeah. this long. Yeah, everyone's it journey make... is different, Nick. Oh, okay, blah, fine. Blah, That's fine. Blah. No, I'm hey, on next side. Is that against you going there? I'm sure you. <laughs> I'm on next side. Come out, get it over come with. Come on, come out, get it over with. Oh, I mean, I just, I just, I just love watching a midlife crisis. Like it's my favorite <laughs> thing to watch. Watching a midlife crisis and watching somebody self-destruct are two of my favorite things. Well, maybe that's next. Yeah. Let's so what you want. Aren't I? <laughs> well, moving on to music. Um, mm -hmm. No doubt, recently reunited. They have a new album coming out. Yes. It's not fully out yet, but they have some singles out. Mm -hmm. And uh, "Looking Hot" is one of our favorite songs from the album. Yeah, it yeah. is my favorite song from the album. And actually, I had messaged Patrick. I had written the article what, the day the video came out, and I was like, "Post this now. It's going to be controversial," because. Um, What's her name? Gwen Stefani plays this Native American princess. And uh, it's all cowboys and Indians, but she's kind of tied up and she's captured. And I thought it was going to be really controversial as soon as I read the YouTube comments. 
People said it was offensive to Native American culture and blah, blah, blah. And then literally the next day it was pulled down off YouTube. So. Taken off YouTube and they issued an apology and they, you know, apologized if it, you know, appeared that they were trivializing Native American <laughs> Stand up for artistic freedom. Get over it. Yeah. So it's anyway, not that big of a deal. I don't think it's that big of a deal either. I can't imagine taking into offense like something like this if somebody made something campy gay or something like yeah. that. You know, it's not like they're making fun of it. They're they they said that they consulted. She's a princess. Well, Hello. <laughs> so well, do you, you think that they did? Do you think, <laughs> given all, like the amount of feedback that they had and complaints, do you think that they made the right decision? Well, in, I don't in, think they had a choice. How prompt they? Yeah. How, I, I don't think they had a choice. I think they're really trying to save face by doing this. I appreciate how they are trying to save themselves in the public eye. But still, like if it hadn't blown up on YouTube and everybody hadn't thought it was controversial, they probably wouldn't have thought anything of it either. I wouldn't have thought anything yeah, of it, whatever. as far as I'm concerned. And there's a lot of just, other people. I just have such issues when it comes to the Native American yeah. argument, like such issues. Moving on. Yeah. We will move. Everyone has a different journey. Everyone has a different journey. They're not coming out. I told you I would use it against you. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, another person that has a new album coming out this uh, fall is Christina Aguilera. Actually, it's coming out in a matter of days, mm -hmm. and I actually had the opportunity of previewing it, and I really like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys heard the that single that leaked, um, "Let There Be Love." I had that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was listening to it yesterday. Yeah. Do you like yeah. it? I like it. Well, okay. Here's the thing. I like it a lot. I think it's going to be a big club banger, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's really typical. I'm going to bang in a club. Okay. Too. So, yeah. well, you know what? <laughs> it's going to be like Adam, a big club banger. I will say but, that there's one of the, that's like one of many songs on it, and sure. she kind of goes over various genres on it. Who's the guy on the voice that the country singer? Oh, he's really cute. Blake Sheldon. Blake Sheldon. Blake Sheldon. She has a song with him, and it's so good, a duet, and it's like it's Sheldon. one of my favorite songs on the album actually. And she also released uh, like a power ballad. Uh, blank page. Um, mm -hmm. That's her current single, and that's really, really good as well. So I think it's very, very different from Bionic, and it's going to be a much well. More let's successful. hope because that's the name of such a hit. <laughs> but she is the one that well, said. Insane. Did you read that thing where she was like, Bionic was ahead of its time? Did you read that? And she was like, Oh, people will understand it in ten years. You're Christina Aguilera, and you are making pop music. Give me it. I just don't like, like her. I think she's a pig. I'm done. I didn't. I'm not watching she's this. She's a stuff. pig. She looks more and more like Miss Piggy every day. I like Fat She was so good in the Muppets. Here's oh my, my problem. <laughs> Here's my problem with Christina Aguilera. I don't care if you're curvy, throw out the size two dresses. You can't fit them anymore, she you look like a pig. Jumping no, out of those things I on the voice. I disagree, I was talking yeah. to my roommate yesterday, I was watching The Voice and she was wearing something oversized, like a sweater or something. And I said, look thinner. I, no, I said the opposite. That's why I, said, wearing hands. I said, I <laughs> said, I said, she kind of looks heavy tonight. And he said, well, because when she's wearing like, because she's not that fat in the scheme of the world. I she's agree. not that yeah. fat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Her. You can't everyone compare her to everyone in the world. First of all, she's like five foot nothing. Yep. Yes. Second of all, she's wearing clothes for a toddler, so she looks like a pig. And she is a pop star. She's, she's not. Yeah, let's I don't, I mean, a pop star. I don't yeah. care. I, I like curvy Aguilera, yeah. and I like her tight dress, and I like that she's flaunting her fat. I love it. Uh, I think it's fantastic. And I just, I just think she's, she's, me... she's too much. Like you know, in that video, um, uh, your body, yeah. too, like too much. You're wearing too much. Like <laughs> relax. <laughs> She's just too much. This is gonna be someone's favorite moment of this entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you don't you see what I'm saying? Like it's Isn't not it you that are is obsessed with gifts. You're gonna be like too much, too yeah, much. It's just like too she much. she's wearing like the clothes are too tight and the hair is too big and the makeup just looks <laughs> too draggy and she's got too much jewelry on and like it. too much. I love drag queen Aguilera. Oh. I think she's fantastic. No, but it's not even good drag. She's it's like, like bad. It's like drag. bad fish. Yeah. That's the drag that you do when you're like I just gotta keep doing more. I gotta keep more. I'm gonna look yeah, great and then you look like the first person getting kicked out on RuPaul. Oh, is that for yeah. so I do that gag thing a lot, don't I? I, I? Think we're I like her. I, <laughs> no. like her. I, I mean, she can great. sing, but she sings too. See, she sings too much. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. She's no. too much. No, my favorite thing on the voice is when she says, "You know, it's good, but you're over singing it a little bit." And I'm like, Whoa. "That's almost like, as bad as Britney sound. going." <laughs> Britney on X Factor. It's almost as bad as you're going. You sounded a bit off key. <laughs> <laughs> right? well, I'd like to see them sing "Happy Birthday." Right. Yeah. <laughs> Before we spend too much time on Christina Aguilera, let's go for a quick break. All right, let's switch from music over to movies. Okay, so uh, just this past weekend, Skyfall has come out, which is, I'm pretty sure, the most anticipated Bond film out of the three, if you guys Jump agree Jump to blow your me. mind. I have never seen a Bond movie. That's weird. Not one. You have no <laughs> I'm so mad at you right now. <laughs> Some of them are like really good. I know, I just, I'm not really. 
Okay. I mean, whatever. This is like you saying I hadn't seen The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Like you were so mad at me. Well. I really feel like this is the most anticipated Bond movie out of the three of them. I think it's fantastic. We have Daniel Craig back. Sam Mendes is directing it of American Beauty fame, so he's a fantastic director. We have Javier Bardem as the villain, who is amazing in everything he does. Um, actually, let's just watch a clip of Skyfall before we carry on. I want to meet your employer. How much do you know about fear? All there is. Well, not like this. Not like him. Just look at you, chasing spies. England and my six. The uh, opening weekend is going to be absolutely fantastic. Is anybody else totally stoked for this, or is it just me? Am I nerding out right now? Uh, I like the movies, yeah. but it's just it's just another movie to me. But I mean, I do like. I, I really like the like Adele it. song with it. <laughs> okay, so this is the other thing. Then you add Adele to the equation. The song is fantastic. It's perfect. Added like, to the equation. It's the opening scene. Who cares about the it song? It doesn't matter. It's promoting the film, yeah. and I think it's one Fun. of the reasons yeah. that the film is is doing so well in in um, uh, audience wanting to go. What is the word I'm looking for? The Best audience one. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> yes, but I, I'm like, congratulations. You have a great song. That's not going to make me want to see the movie. But the thing about Bond films is everybody. I don't know if you do. I I always anticipate the Bond song because sure. it's one of those things that everybody looks forward to before the movie opens. We, uh, it's not a big deal. It got no? me a little bit interested. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And it's and Adele, like, for God's sake. Some sakes. of the best people have sang Bond songs. That's true. Yes. Shirley Bassey, the queen of everything. Oh, God. Uh, but for the movie, I don't know. I thought the last one wasn't that great, so. Well, it, it was the sequel thing that was happening. And it wasn't that great, but it was still kind of continuing the plot. And apparently, this one builds on the plot as okay. well. But the first one, Casino Royale, I, I think is the best Bond film of all time. That's the one that had all that That's, parkour at the beginning, right? That's a big statement. I, it's my favorite. I've seen every Bond film. I think Casino Royale just tops them all. So I'm, I'm really excited for guy, so. Goldeneye? Yeah. Really? I really like the Austin Powers movies. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Also, coming out soon is Twilight. Tommy, Twilight, go! Twilight. Twilight is coming out November 16th. It's finally the final film in this okay, god awful so, right, franchise. Was, I keep forgetting you hate them. I now. love them, yeah, but I hate them, them, but I love them. You walked out the last one with Maddie? The or? last one I went to, I walked out yeah. after 20 minutes, we got our money back because it was, I've never, I have never in my life walked out of a movie and I walked out of this one. However, a month later, I did buy it on, on demand. Okay, so I'm <laughs> not going to lie, I thought it was done. I had There's no idea there was they, another they one. Split, yeah, because I thought, oh, she had the baby, great, they're fine. No, they split, <laughs> they, they split the last one into two movies yeah. like they do, they do with everything. And um, from what I can tell, I mean, it's just going to be more of the same. It's going to be more of the same nonsense, except she's a vampire now. And now they've got this kid that grows up really fast. And they think it's just really stupid. Okay, that's what's stupid. What I want to see, and the trailers have good, which I'd love to watch a trailer before we can talk about it, though. Oh, yeah, let's watch okay, the trailer. Go ahead. Why don't you throw to a trailer, Adam? Why don't we watch the trailer from the new <laughs> Breaking Dawn <laughs> sequel coming up? Every obstacle you faced. I think you couldn't overcome it. The pain just did. I didn't expect you to seem so... you? My time as a human was over. So what I'm excited about, and this is just me, Comic yeah. book guy, it's all the powers and like they each have their special okay, thing, okay. and that's yeah! cool. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shh, shh, shh. So when they become vampires, some people have special gifts. Yeah. You're right. This is actually that's cool. kind of exciting. So, um, so they have to find the the Cullens. The family has to find people that believe that their child is not a child vampire. Okay, because that's illegal. I don't even know who the Cullens shh, are. Stop talking. So then, so so they find someone who can control the elements, and then another person with the, has electricity out of their hands, and another one. That Oh my god, it's, it's so really cool. good. I like that. It's, it's good. Don't get me wrong, Twilight is not good. <laughs> Thank These you. These movies are Can not good. Can you look good. at the camera and say Twilight no, is I not will, good? No, I will not. <laughs> the, 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 if, if the casting was better, it had some potential, but it's not Kristen good. Stewart wasn't I mean, it. even Robert Pattinson's a wiener in it. Like, it's just <laughs> not good. Uh, Dakota Fanning. Saves she's it. She's pretty good. She's everything. Though so she's so rarely in it. She's in it for like 20 yeah, hot minutes. Yeah. So. The best characters are in it for. 15 to 20 yeah. minutes. Mm. That's it. Maybe even five. Because that's all they'll put their name to yeah, in this watched, god-awful trilogy. Yeah, exactly. So. I watched like the first two and then it kind of died off. I'm but like, I actually oh. do want to see this one because I like the what, the what I've seen from the previews, the whole fight scene, and I like the fact that 
Kristen Stewart is a vampire now. Like that's that, true. That, she yeah. changes a bit and she yeah. gets a little bit more attractive. Like they made her hair a little bit. Couldn't fuller. get worse. <laughs> there you go. Couldn't get worse. Oh, and that's something that we both are into that you said would be awful. I'm gonna eat crow on this the one. The new yep. normal. The new normal. Okay. See, and you guys are the I reason that I never that? started watching okay. it. <laughs> so last episode we talked about the new normal and we talked about Ryan Murphy and we talked about how much I hate all of his yes. gay characters because they're all yes. weird. I was totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this show, I, I, excuse we're like me. eight episodes in I now. Feel like we should cut to a clip of what Tommy said. I in the, like, if possible. <laughs> Just, I hate every any any kind of gay character he puts out. It drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it for the first couple of weeks and then my friends were telling me to watch it and I was like, I just can't do it. It's Ryan Murphy, it's stupid. And I watched it and the first three episodes were fantastic. First of all, it's only half an hour, thank God. Okay, okay yeah. good. Um, and I the characters, I thought the characters are great. Nene Leakes is turning oh, yeah. me out. Yeah. She's so good. <laughs> she got good lines on that show. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's, essentially she's just playing herself. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's really good. My only thing was they kind of lost me in a couple episodes when they started to talk about politics. <sighs> God okay, yeah, no, but, but do you know what I mean? Like, why are you bringing it up? You like, I just, I'm just not into it. Because if he's got a gay show and he's got all this money, he's got to use it I to just... push. I'm sorry, but an agenda of like they're in Walmart and the family I like hate yeah. crimes totally them, fine and with it's that like, as well. oh, yeah. don't do that in front of my kid. Do you had an issue okay. with that? No, 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 that's fine. But there was an episode where they were talking to the grandmother, like, why are you voting for right. Ron? Like that was a, that was a but little that's much. Who the mother is? Like, it's she, correct. Uh, that's she what's went... happening right now in the country. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Oh. Um, but the, well, let's go back to the mother, even though she's the devil. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. She is everything. She's so funny on that show. I'm, I'm watching it. I'm I loving it. I need to catch up on another television show. But it's only half an hour. So, it's nice no, and quick. No, I know that makes me really happy. It is. Yeah. It's easy to watch. And I, you know what? I wasn't totally on it yeah. in the beginning. I was because the characters, the two mains, are two so bipolar, good. like straight doctor and gay yeah, yeah, yeah. fashion guy or whatever. Yeah, but then yeah. they become more real. And can we talk it's a about good relationship. Can we talk about how tall the gay one is? Oh, it's ridiculous. When I didn't even think together. it was that tall. I thought yeah. it was short. <laughs> yeah. No, I love it. I think it's great. Okay. I imagine. I'm glad you're liking that but, so Okay, far. but okay, so let's go to another Ryan Murphy show, which we talked about, American Horror Story. Yeah. I feel it's suffering the Ryan Murphy season two curse. Okay, well, let's go to a clip okay. to see how okay. this one's starting out. So first of all, we have to say that for people who don't know, Season one happened, this is season two, nothing to do with one another. Totally different. different time, different Story, characters, it's all, yes. <clears throat> all different. Is that Except, a good or bad thing? It's interesting, I didn't know what they were gonna do that, because I, I don't pre-read what's okay, happening, well, what's but they really keep actors the same. Exactly, I'll just put what's that really in. interesting is the same actors that, well, majority, some majority. of the same actors that were on season one are now playing different characters on season two in a completely different storyline. I'm into it. I like that. I'm into it and I'll tell you why. St when people drag, like how long can you drag out a haunted house where everyone dies? No, no, really? absolutely. I'm totally fine so with I'm them into that. that. Oh. Season yeah. three will be completely different again. Oh yeah, they're doing yeah, yeah, every yeah, season. They'll, they'll do everything the a different story. Yeah. So right. talking about well-seasoned shows, yeah. we're going to, I think, the third for a new one now. We're gonna talk about it after the break, but I really wanna get into The Walking Dead. Yes, yeah. finally, something I watch. Let's get into it. About the rest of the prison. What is this place? Stay tight, whole formation. Anyone breaks ranks, we could all go down. Anyone runs off, they could get mistaken for a walker. We want our weapons. Season three. It's, it's turning me out, Tommy. No, it's really, it's, <laughs> Don't it's, ever do that again. <laughs> I know, I can't pull it off. <laughs> it's so good this season, and the reason it's so good is because season two spent the entire season setting up character development that season three can actually just turn yeah. out the plot. Yeah. And spoiler alert, one of our least favorite characters finally dies. dies. Finally, she's dead. Oh, the mom she... dies. Oh, Thank oh. God. <laughs> her baby gets ripped out of her. Her yes. son is to. Slices are open. And her, rips the baby her son is to shoot her in the head yeah, because bang. we're caught up on episodes. Is that what happened? <laughs> I saw it in the, I can't in, believe you just told me that. On Facebook, yeah. like everyone was screaming about something that happened. Is that what? That's what it was. She died. The slicing and the, the ripping out of the baby. I haven't seen. She finally oh, gets killed. Oh, oh, I was just I'm, hoping I'm just more happy that, that the baby would turn into a zombie seen. and kill the son at the same uh, time. That would have been perfect. Although I will say that Carl is. Are you kidding he, me? Yeah. Hold on. No, Don't no, you dare. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. He's not getting lost. No, he's not. 
He's not in jail, but so he's it's a little he's, harder. He's also not speaking much. He's yeah, not. No, so he's, he's not. less annoying. You hadn't seen him since like the beginning of the second yeah. episode yes. or something like that. You know why? But I don't like it. No, I want him gone. Just kind of, and that's it. I think they're listening to people who are saying he is the goddamn worst character on television. Yeah. They're listening to you, Adam. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> <not> <laughs> so, so this past <laughs> episode, not only did Lori die, but um, what's his name? The black guy. The black guy. I, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but T Dog or whatever. Okay. I found this very interesting. So they kill off a black character. And then they bring on another black character from the jail. It's like they can only have one black character at a time. <laughs> I think that's there sometimes I there is sort of a, a thing. Much, yeah. Yeah. No, no, but it's true. I was like, they, and he was really good. Like the one that they killed off was such a great character. Yeah, he was a good character. Uh, but he was kind of in the background. He didn't really yeah, add anything. The, to I like the other people too much. Okay. He was fine to lose. He was interesting, but and he was a big fighter. And then they yeah. took in another big fighter. It's, it's yeah. the same kind of thing again. Okay. But the storyline I am liking. One. Is with the like the pseudo lesbian storyline show. Oh, yeah, love everything. With the governor and the town. And, and then the crazy town with the zombie heads and the cases. And the governor's and like a total sociopath. Yeah, yeah. that one's kind of like interesting. It. I don't mind that going yeah. on. And I, I think she's so. beautiful. They're they're Which gorgeous. One? So Andrea? both of them. I think both, both of them yeah. are so yeah. pretty. Yeah. I they want every black out. girl to be Michonne for Halloween next year with the sword and the braids. Everyone, I'll do it. <laughs> with my hair. <laughs> Well, if we're going to carry on with your whole gay thing, we may as well talk about the last show I want to get on to, which is DTLA, a new gay show being shown by OTV and Logo. Mm -hmm. Being in a committed relationship, having a rock star career, owning my own home. We have this beautiful downtown loft where we entertain our many friends, our amazing friends, our insane friends. I've seen two episodes, so, okay. so no, I have pluses and minuses for this. Okay. Okay. I, like I've said before, appreciate when we can have new gay shows that show certain topics which maybe haven't been covered before. 100%. Mm -hmm. And there are some things that are brought up with this, like there's a lot more cheating than you probably see on like a new normal show or something, mm -hmm. which has to paint that perfect little picture mm -hmm. of gay because that's going to be seen by straight people, yeah. so they mm -hmm. have to see a nice right. version. This is a little more real, especially with the amount of cheating that goes on. I believe that a lot out of this episode. And the slutty Asian guy, I think, is pretty accurate. Do you too. not? Okay, thank you. He's like literally my favorite character on this show. <laughs> Shocking. I love him. <laughs> oh my god, I think someone's he's zero feet away on Grindr. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's fantastic. I, uh, uh, with the cheating thing, I feel like the plot all of a sudden just sped up. I didn't realize that the main character's boyfriend thought that the main character was cheating and then all of a sudden he was cheating. So I feel like there's gaps in it that need to be filled in a little bit. Hopefully they will be in future episodes. There's some good characters, there's some bad characters of the Asian guy. I think he's fantastic. And the straight girlfriend. I think well, she's really Speaking good. of filling gaps, there is a lot of hardcore sex on there it as well. There's a lot of filling gaps, and yes. And they're, and they're not so oh, like. Oh, God, that was a pun. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot. Of it. Up, and yeah. I like that they're showing the nudity as well, too. Yeah. Like, it's not yeah. like, no. you know. I think that's fantastic. Like you said, I think there's a market for that, and there's a little niche that it's filling. I just. Another. Then there's characters I don't like. Yeah. I cannot stand the two, Matt and Mark, I think, the two white guy, yeah. gay guys. The They're awful. The, yeah. I, oh my I God. Like the either. wannabe actor and the army base guy. I don't buy it. No. I don't buy any of it. The, the, and it almost seems like their script is written by someone else than the other. Because I find the main character and his mm -hmm. boyfriend have like a little bit more elevated conversation. Well, they, and but that's how real. I feel about the two black characters as well. I feel like their characters are kind of similar to the actor and the other white guy. Like I don't really believe any of them. Like I do. What I want is to believe everybody as much as I do the main characters. Yeah, that's what well, I want. Everyone's, what I can say is I've watched up to episode six and all of the stories evolve and okay. like you get more and more invested in it as it goes along. And I was lucky enough to be able to watch it like back to back and because I did get invested and I mm -hmm. just kept watching it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing the, re the rest of the episodes. But mm -hmm. yeah, it was one of those things that you have to just keep watching. And there's a lot of really cool guest stars on it. Uh, Sandra Bernhard yeah, is on it, cool. plays uh, one of the moms and her, Melanie Griffith, Melanie yeah. Griffith uh, is her girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, um, Leslie well, yeah. Jordan from Will and Grace, you know, the, yeah, the yeah, gay yeah. guy. Uh, yeah, well, he was the acting, acting coach. coach. Yep. And there's another episode with Jeremy Jackson uh, from Baywatch. He, oh. no, he's serious. Watch it. No, what? no, honestly, there's a scene, uh, and it's like super hot. A sex scene with him. he's straight in the in the show, but there's a super wow. hot sex scene okay. that you have to see. Um, well, yeah. I'm obviously we're obviously talking about. I'm obviously going to keep watching it. Yeah. So it's doing well. And another great OTV show is RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we should preface this by sending our condolences out to Sahara Davenport's family. We yeah, lost her in absolutely. October. Very sudden. 
Uh, she passed away of heart failure. She was like 27 or 28 years old. It was so sad. Like it was devastating. Yeah, I mean, she came here for one of my pride events. She's a, she was such a sweet person, and I love her. And anyway, moving on, we're gonna talk about Drag Race. All Stars started on October 22nd, and I don't know if I'm feeling this season as much as the rest. I'm, like, I'm it's a different because the characters. Like, just because I love them. Yeah, you yeah. love you love the people. You love the, the the characters. You love the, the, the queens that are on it. <laughs> the queens. Uh, you love the queens that are on it. I just I'm not into the pairing of it. No, I think, I'm not either. At I all. think um, I think the voting off is is. I just think it's really. I rigged. think even the first voting off was mm. completely unfair to begin with, and it was the whole reason that they shouldn't yeah. be paired up. I mean, I have a theory as to the whole drag race thing. Rue picks who Rue wants to go through, and mm. I think. Um, the last episode, well, one of the last episodes that we saw was when they were um, uh, doing pranks on the streets and 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 Team Shad, Chanel, uh, Chanel and Chad won, and I was like, that's totally rigged. And I mean, just my insider information told me that it was not the way it was supposed to go. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I loved it. I, I'm gonna keep watching it, yeah, and uh, my favorites are out, so yeah. I'm back to Chad, so that's yeah. why I hope we're back to Chad as well. I like Chad. Mm, Whatever. I like Chad as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to tune in next time and give DTLA and RuPaul's Drag Race a watch if you're not watching it. They're both really great seasons this year, so see you guys next time. Bye. Really? Yeah. That's not your ending on? Bye. Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) At least say something. Go ahead. I I don't need to. I think you said it right there. Oh God. (laughs)